Well, here we are on video 72, Empire Total War, United Provinces, uh, played on hard. Um, those that have listened to the videos before will know that my general strategy now is to raise some funds at the cost of my fleet and my sailors uh, in order to uh, be able to attack Paris and sustain it and hold it for a while. Sorry to those that I'm repeating myself over. We've just had the turn end and I noticed some Spanish ships go this way. It looked like four, maybe five boats, so I'm going to see if I can find it. Yeah. Inching forward until you see that sort of lighter area that's coming around. That's the fog of war removing. Um, as my chaps up there in the crow's nest, that's how far they can see. And we're looking out for that Spanish fleet. Hoping that it'll appear any minute. Yes, there we go. And unfortunately now it's too far for us to reach. But certain ships have different ranges. Um, we've got um, some bigger boats in there, though not very big. Oh dear, look at that. Three fourth rates and a sloop. They're pretty powerful. They're all undamaged. You know, see my ragged flag up there, so all my chaps have taken hits already. I know it looks like I've got a lot of boats, but um, I've only got one or two that are big enough to take on those fourth rates, especially with them being... Uh, fully armed. So, Nick forward with the sloop. You know, the sloop moves quicker than other ships, which means that I'm risking my sloop, really. I don't want to lose it. It's um, really, really handy. It's like, well, as, as you've seen in other naval battles, I use it like the cavalry, so I use it for um, chasing things down that are trying to run away and rout. Notice that forward ship of the enemy there? That'll be his sloop. Remember, he's got three fourth rates and a sloop. Um, it this battle, so you notice the ships in the background there, they're my own ships, they're, they're, that's the main part of my navy. A strange thing um, about this particular battle is that my sloop has appeared at one end of the enemy fleet and the rest of my navy at the other end. And when you think I sent my sloop out, if you like, almost as the equivalent of skirmishers, my fleet should have been directly behind. So I think that was um, a pretty cruel move by the... Um, uh, you know, by the AI that one. What I've done is I've um, I've got I've I've sailed as much as I can into the wind to try and get round his fleet. Um, I, I was like I said on the complete opposite side. Uh, I can see my fleet now. I'm almost round. Um, you can see those fourth rates coming round, about to turn on me as well. What I'm trying to do is keep his sloop between me and those fourth rates. But nope, he's got me. Uh, my sloop won't be able to take much punishment like that. What I've been doing is um, is sailing into the wind as quickly as possible um, in order to get around uh, with the possibility of going around the edge there that I can suddenly skip off the battlefield and, and just run, or the, the um, battle site and just run. So what I've been doing is sailing into the wind, twisting a little, firing at that sloop, um, hitting him with, um, with, with chain shot, and the reason for that has obviously been that, um, that that I wanted to slow him down. I've got about three hits on that sloop that's followed me. So I would have thought I'd have slowed him down enough, but it doesn't seem that I have done at all. They're all absolutely determined to get that sloop. My other worry is that they'll just follow me off the battlefield. Again, the battle side, uh, which is no good. Uh, really, I need my sloop to drive them into my main force. The main force are, are not pretty by the way, they're not in any decent formation. They are as they've arrived on the battlefield. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a different word, aren't I, from the battlefield. Uh, anyhow, what's happened is they've come on piecemeal, um, as reinforcements do, so I've had no means of organising them, but I've had to drop into this battle because I desperately need to um, to get some prize money in order to fund my war. I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, um, that, that's the whole raison d'etre, really, of, of this uh, battle. So I, I need to get my big ships in there as soon as possible. There you go, you see, just grab them all, move them in as close as possible as I can. So very little strategy involved here. I'd like to be able to keep my sloop in the area if I can, rather than take it off the battlefield altogether. <laughs> there we go again. 
You can see where the wind's going. He's sailing into the wind. I'm sailing into the wind. We're all racing towards one another. You see that arrow in the top middle of the screen there that shows you which way the wind's going. And here we go, I've got a decent distance away from them again with my sloop, so I'm turning around to see if I can get a shot in. Yeah. All the time moving round. You won't believe I, I spent a lot of time doing this um, uh, before I even started this uh, this battle off. Um, I've come all the way round, if you like, from looking at a clock, 6 o'clock on the analogue clock, all the way up now to around about 3 o'clock on the analogue clock, where my own forces are coming in at 12. So you can get some idea of, of how far round I've had to go. There's some pretty powerful ships catching up with me here now. And um, I thought maybe I'd get another shot in there, but it's looking difficult. The problem is he could just blow me out of the water, and whilst I have said uh, I'm reasonably happy to lose one or two ships now because they're costing me money, what I need is prize money and to reduce the amount of money that I'm spending on my navy. I don't really want to lose a sloop. A sloop is a very handy ship. As you know, the sloop has brought me into this battle for a start, because it had the reach to be able to engage the enemy while the rest of my fleet was too far behind. Um, you know um, from the number of battles that I've been involved in, the sloop has been instrumental in catching a ship virtually in every battle that we've fought in. So I really do want to keep the sloop if I can. They're quite cheap sheeps, uh, ships, sorry, so I can always uh, make more of them. But obviously uh, I want to keep my cost down at the moment. Look at the size of those boys, eh? These are ships of the line now. Uh, fourth rates and above. They're the ones that, that... These are the wooden walls of England type ships. You know, the um, uh, great big sea batteries that they set up. You know, the, their oak walls. Uh, the last thing you want is for my little pea shooter of a sloop to be engaging with those boys. It doesn't look like I can, get, I can get away from them anymore, I'm afraid. With the wind in their sails, they're pretty quick. So I'm going directly away from them now. That's his sloop turning. Again, what I don't want to do is for him to take out my sails. At some point here, and I'm right on the edge of the battle, for it, battle area, <laughs> um, at some point here I'm going to have to seriously consider just withdrawing them completely from the area. Just get one last shot in there to slow them down a little bit before my main fleet comes in. Just sting a bit. There you go. I've used the, um, you can see the flag in the bottom right there. I've just clicked the withdraw button. Let's get them out of the, let's get him out of the area. I think my fleet are close enough now to be able to engage. I don't think he's going to run off the edge of the the area. I don't think he is. Okay, so that, that uh, sloop has done a little bit of damage, and believe me, it is only a very small amount of damage. We get the sloop off the uh, um, off the scene, out of the area, and bring the main fleet in. Now, this fleet, as I've explained to you already, is a right hopscotch. It's taken lots of hits already, so there's lots of damage to its guns. There's no messing around here, folks. That This is not going to be um, uh, pretty. It's not going to be chain shot. It's not going to be then um, grape shot to um, increase his casualties of men either. Um, this is going to be out-and-out out ball. This is going to be the nearest thing you've got to a ball ache, basically. These guys are going to hurt. Yeah. Um, the problem with that, of course, is there's a good chance that we'll blow his sloop up. Um, I'm going to risk that. Um, you don't get much prize money for a sloop anyway. I want those fourth rates. Um, I could get as much as, say, 2,000, you know, from capturing decent fourth, or fourth rates in a decent condition. Yeah. I think I've got one fourth rate in there. Again, damaged. So this is us building up to the battle. Sorry, it's been a, um, a bit of a quiet build up there, but um, it, it shows you um, it really how unfair it was. My sloop ended up on one side of the battlefield and the rest of my fleet ended up on the other side. That's not really very fair, but uh, anyway, here we go, building up now. We're getting close. On the next uh, video, I will be able to complete this battle because um, there isn't that much more of it to go.